Hello my friends, I'm Dilhani from Tiny Popsicle here again with another plan with me video. But first, let's have a quick flip through of the month of July. So my July theme was inspired by Achan Olive um, June subscription box. But to be honest, uh, I didn't really enjoy the theme I recreated throughout the month but uh, the cactus types page I really enjoyed creating it however since July month is done and dusted let's create something cool for August and I received several different sizes of Pigma Micron fine liners which I'm going to be used for the line arts mostly in this month I have been planning to do the theme on August for quite some time actually well over a few months I have been planning to do this theme uh, exactly on August uh, I think I am really excited how this will turn out so my hair kept doing that so if you are annoyed by my hair please excuse me and this month theme see, is going to be the buildings yes I said it the buildings I don't know if you are excited or not but I'm really excited because uh, during the research time I uh, came across few different quite interesting interior exterior designs as you can see here I have laid out my pencil sketches as always and I'm going through the line art first with my big uh, micron uh, size 001 and um, it is quite uh, quite a few line arts I might add so I'm using my metal uh, roller so that I I don't get any shaky lines with my shaky hands I'm using my A5 Arch and Olive flowers on the table dot grid notebook from their spring collection actually I have a really exciting announcement to do that I have been accepted as an affiliate for Arch and Olive uh, with this affiliate uh, I can earn a small commission once uh, anyone who used my affiliate code or my affiliate link um, while they are doing their purchase I can have a small commission and I'm really excited to work with them as well as uh, spread the word about the great brand that I love and keep coming back to so it's really exciting and I really hope you guys use my code which is tiny10 and you can find the code and the affiliate link down description below and purchase your Arch and Olive products and use my code while you uh, check out your products and have a 10% discount for your end and help the girl out enough rambling about that so let's get back to the planning so I used this dark magenta and cream and few shades of turquoise color basically for the buildings and those are the basic colors for this month and additionally I used few uh, green color and some 
shades of blue and pinks for the background like uh, the sky and the background uh, plants and everything As I mentioned earlier, during my research, I could find very interesting background stories about these buildings I'm drawing or the inspiration for these buildings I'm drawing. They were really, really interesting behind the stories like you should research and um, you can learn many things about the history too. All those stories were connected to emperors, kings, queens and so many powerful people from our world history. However, history is not my thing so I'm not going to ramble about the history where I'm not confident enough or I have not studied well enough. I colored the garden and the sky of the camera but I will explain how I did the garden coloring in the next page and I'm going over the line art again because after the coloring the line arts did not stand out so I wanted to stand out the line art because I wanted to separate those buildings from each other And after all those colorings, I'm writing the header August with this sort of calligraphy and a brush like font. I think it suits the background, and it is normally not my font, but I like the way it turned out. And this month, I decided to go for a court page next to the cow page so I'm outlining first the cord page and I made quite a few mistakes this month but white jelly roll was lifesaver for me Within the code page, I drew some mini building situation and this has something like every city would have like a open restaurant, an artificial waterfall and few botanical things like trees, bunch of uh, plants and everything. So I thought this would uh, match the code too.
and of course since I didn't had many space in the cover page I've decided to incorporate my calendar in the quote page also so it would be convenient for me to use the calendar and the cover page within the same view And the quote I choose for this one is Whatever good thing we build end up building us. I think with the buildings and everything it suits very well. If you can tell I went full in building with this time because I wrote build even with the brick font so it will really really reflect the building theme Moving on with the calendar page, this month I decided to go for a two page calendar page because I have many events this month and it's been five years I and my fiance are together now so our anniversary is coming up this month so I'm really excited. The header on the calendar page I used my new stamps from my God AliExpress uh, and stamped out August in the full capital letters. And I painted these daily boxes with the brick affected wall so it suits to the theme as well. surprise surprise I have many surprises for you this month I am doing a Dutch door for the first time in my journal life in this month so I'm cutting out this right side of the calendar page we were after doing halfway through of the cutting part 
I was so nervous to do it in front of the camera so I finished it off the camera. Put it into a good use behind the Dutch door space. I created the content planner within that space. So I guess it turned out very good as a first time Dutch door user. The space right after the Dutch door, I used that one to write my goals and as well as I drew another building here. Here you can see I'm drawing background garden. For that I used a few shades of greens. From each green I drew separate leaves around the space and filled out the negative space rest of the greens. And finally I touched it up with the pink that it gives me a like they have flowers on the garden. And you can see it turned out very well. Moving on with the next spread which is my habit tracker. So as usual I'm going to use my mini calendars to track my habit. So I'm not going to waste your time drawing repeatedly these mini calendars. So let's snap it. This month habit tracker and mode tracker will be on the same mirror pages and if you can tell I'm going for a simple drawing and I'm taking from extra special drawing from the mode tracker. I always do extra special drawing for a mode tracker but this month around I thought I had many many drawings all over the spreads. so. I should take a break from extra special mode tracker and go for a simple brick like uh, spread so these bricks will be my each day and this will be filled out and each and every day based on my modes and those are the all spread that I created for this video I will create another video for the weeklies and since the first weekly only have sunday i will be posting that one on my instagram you can follow me on instagram on instagram i post regularly so follow me on there tiny underscore popsicle is my instagram and you can follow me on my facebook page as well finally i hope you guys enjoyed the video and like this theme if so please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel it will help my channel a lot and it means a lot for me and so that's it for today i hope you guys have a good time and good day please stay safe and stay productive
bye bye